for me, the biggest way to sum up like the mats don't lie, it just goes back to kind of like the shit talk. You know, you can you can walk around and say all the stuff that you want, but when you get on the mat and you shake hands and the match starts, like you're gonna truly find out who's the better opponent. And that, that's like what it means to me. Uh, John's one of the hardest workers in the room. This guy comes to work every day, never says no, never backs down from a challenge. That's the type of cloth that fighters are cut from. And it's just really all you could ask for as a coach. And my job is just to steer him, keep him safe, and you're gonna know his name soon. He's a high level jiu-jitsu player, just made the world team for USA Grappling. He's gonna go to Kazakhstan here in a few months. The MMA is just kind of a side quest, honestly, right now. One day it'll be the, the main goal, but we're still in the development phases, and, and this kid's gonna be something special. My first experience with John was him being in seventh or eighth grade, maybe. Um, and we came in, he came to Genesis Wrestling Club in Fountain Valley High School. Came in the first day, I showed him some throws, some headlocks and stuff, you know, just basic kids wrestling. He comes in the next day, the very next day, said, Coach, that move you showed me really worked. I said, of course it worked, you know, I know what I'm talking about. He said, no, Coach, it really worked. He pulled out his phone, showed me a video of him getting in a fight in the locker room at school and hitting the move that we went over yesterday. I said, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you, you were able to hit it, but take that off your Snapchat story, you know? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is John Chandler. I'm a purple belt. I'm 22 years old. Uh, training out of Huntington Beach, California, born and raised, and this is my gym right here, Orange County Regional Training Center. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was good. So uh, he's putting his hands together tonight. We got to see it. Six minutes of him on his feet, which we hadn't really seen much of. Against a tough guy, this is the guy's fifth fight ever, and uh, John did really well tonight, and just cool to see him evolve. I'm here to show you that like, I'm gonna win this, and I'm gonna be like one of the youngest on the team, and I'm gonna go to Kazakhstan, and I'm gonna have a great performance, and, and people are gonna know my name. I'm looking forward to it. I want, I want the toughest guys. Like, I want to go and face some tough guys. I don't want to go there and just win by beating some pushover guys. Like, I want to come back home and feel like you beat a serious threat from a different country. Some guy that doesn't even speak the same language as you. Like, you guys can't even hold a conversation with each other, but you went out there and scrapped and gave it your all. And just shows, like, the beauty of this art. We don't even have to speak the same language or speak anything to each other, and we could still go and draw thousands of people's attention. And no matter what you speak or what you believe in, you could watch it and be like, oh my gosh, that was an awesome display of, of character and jujitsu and wrestling. I'm really looking forward to get to be part of Team USA and get to go to a different country. And no matter what the outcome is, how much I learn when I go there and how much I level up when I come back just in a week's time, because I know it's gonna be a huge level up. Growing up, getting to watch like all these guys on the USA wrestling team in the Olympics, like when they win and get to run around the mat like with, with the flag, like representing their country is just like, oh, it's just such an awesome feeling getting to see that. It's like, just that's like what we're doing. Like we have the freedom to just choose. I wanna grapple, I wanna do MMA. I wanna do whatever I want with my life because this is America and we have the freedom to choose. And it's, oh, it's just so awesome. I can't wait, it's gonna be sick.